Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can permanently set up defaults in DaVinci Resolve so that you don't need to change your export settings on uh, basically every video you create. So by default, the format here would be QuickTime, and I'm always changing that to MP4. It's the format I prefer to export my videos in. Um, but you'll notice over here that I've actually added in a new default setting. So in any video I want to export now, I can just click over here and it'll be able to export as MP4, uh, restricted to 5,000 kilobits per second, and other assorted settings that I may choose to set. So how you actually do this, like you scroll down here and you don't really see anything, is you click on this little three dot icon in the top right corner of the render settings and you have to hit save as new preset. But before you do that you should kind of already set up the export settings you want to export your video in. So if that means changing the format or the codec, the frame rate, the resolution, the quality, you should do that ahead of time because all of those settings and on all of these tabs, audio and file included, are going to be set in this new default. And once you're done with that, you can go to save as new preset, just give it a name. Um, I'll just call it pop, why not? And on this drop down, you have all of the uh, basically the custom presets that you've created. So I'm going to delete this new one now by going up to the top right corner, deleting that custom one. And um, by just having the one preset that I'm going to use in most of my videos, I just need to click on this one when I'm ready to export. So rather than changing all of these settings, it's good to go with just one click. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video on how to set up exporting defaults inside of DaVinci Resolve. Oh, one more thing I should mention, make sure that you do actually have video on your timeline before you try to save the preset. If you run into an issue where it says it can't save, uh, that's because possibly you don't have any video on your timeline. I did run into that issue, so just heads up. Anyway, uh, that's all for this video, so I will see you guys in my future video content. Till then.